So it truly feels like every single day I get to talk about the iPhone 10. and after using it on iOS 16 for a while, and after all of the public beta, well the first public beta that came out in the beta 3, I am understanding of how wonderful this iPhone is, and even though it got limited features on iOS 16, I still think it's a pretty cool iPhone, and I do think it's a wonderful iPhone at the end of the day. And I can use any other word to kind of describe it, but the fact that this iPhone is coming up on 5 years old, the fact that it you know is still supported with software which is great it seems like apple is reducing the amount of software versions phones are getting and the fact that it holds up so well even against something like an iphone 13 pro i think it's actually pretty outstanding of how wonderful this device is and even if you still own it i would highly recommend keeping it but even if you're looking at the leaks of the iphone 14s and maybe even some of the leaks of the iphone 15s you're starting to kind of see of how apple is strategically trying to reduce the amount of features and basically wanting people to go and upgrade. They know that they knocked it out of the park with the iPhone 10. I mean, this iPhone physically still holds up so well, even to not only the iPhones that have came out since then, but to the whole entire phone landscape. I mean, when you look at phones that are still being, you know, produced by all these manufacturers across the board, I'm still shocked about how good of a job Apple did and how extremely premium this device still holds up. I mean, body-wise, this iPhone still looks beautiful with its Super Retina OLED display, with its camera on the back, with its glass back, wireless charger, Charging, a lightning port. I mean, the stainless steel band around this phone, it still feels like a flagship no matter which way you look at it. But even on top of that, when I go through and I actually use this phone, and you know, to be honest, I've been talking about this phone a lot. I've been comparing this phone a lot to all the other phones on iOS 16, and I'm still so shocked to see how crazy of a job Apple did with this type of device. I mean, even in a speed performing standpoint, it holds up very well to phones like the iPhone XS and iPhone 11, which are the direct, you know, six Accessors to this phone, but also, and I've talked about this so much, the battery life of this phone has been absolutely insane. It makes absolutely no sense to me how my iPhone 10, with severe battery degradation, and it's five years old, and it doesn't even have the most optimized chipset anymore, how this iPhone was running laps around so many other iPhones, even in any case, even if this thing, even if this thing was some sort of a, you know, fluke or whatever the case was, there really shouldn't have been a situation where this iPhone in the battery life department was doing so well against so many other iPhones. So one thing I will definitely tell you, in my opinion, the iPhone 10, even though it is in a different type of situation than it normally could have been in before, I think this is still a wonderful iPhone. I hope this iPhone ends up lasting for as long as it can, but I have a feeling even when it does get, you know, drop support, I feel like, you know, this phone could still be a pretty decent value if you buy it for, you know, $200 or even less than that in some conditions. I think it's a decent value and I, I think it's a really good value for the price tag, even if it doesn't get the full OS updates that, you know, may be coming out for the iPhone XS or the iPhone 11s. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.